right, welcome to episode one of ESPN NFL 2K5. Now, for some of you, you might be wondering, why this game? Why NFL 2K5 in the year 2022? And I'll tell you why. Uh, this game was honestly my favorite football game growing up as a kid. It was honestly just so ahead of its time back, uh, back in 2005 when it came out. I mean, just the physics in this game, the presentation... The in-depth franchise mode. Everything about it was so great, you know? And even when this game came out, it came out um, around the same time as Madden 2005. And Madden 2005 was actually a great game. It was one of the best Madden games also. But when this game came out, 2K5, it was only 20 bucks. It was 20 bucks new, which is, like, so cheap. Even back then, like, think, like, Xbox and PlayStation games were like usually, like, $40 when they came out new. This game was only $20 when it came out new. So my parents got... They, were, they saw, like... You know, cheap twenty dollar game. They're like, all right, sure, let's get this for, uh, let, let, you know, let's get this for me. And I got it. And like I said, such a good game, such a good game. It's so ahead of its time. Um, so, you know, uh, Madden. Like I said, I've also played Madden for a number of years. I played, been playing Madden since uh, two thousand four, and you know, they they used to be really good. They were really good. I haven't really, I haven't really played Madden since like Madden twenty. Uh, I feel like now Madden's become more of like a cash grab or, or than anything with the ultimate team and whatnot. But that's like that's a that's a story for another day. This game though, like I said, presentation's great. The physics was great. Um, just the the in depth, the game modes and everything. It's just it's all around. This is such a great game. And you know, I actually saw like online people actually uh, resurrect like a group of people actually resurrected this game and made it into the you know the the current rosters and made it you know more modern i think that's awesome i think that's amazing that people were able to you know resurrect this game into a modern day roster but for this for this series we're gonna we are going to be playing the uh the 2005 version because the 2005 version that is the one that i have you know the nostalgia for and i want to you know play it as it was and you know look back as it was back then and you know, hopefully uh, see if it holds up today. And I think it does. I think it really will. And for those that are wondering how I'm able to play this game, it's actually very complicated. But I am playing it on my laptop. The way, the easiest way I can describe it is I am using an emulator, a PlayStation 2 emulator, I think PC2X or whatever it's called. I'm not sure. And then I found the uh, ISO uh, image off the, uh, what's it called? the uh, archive website uh, extracted and now I'm and now I'm running the game through the emulator and I'm playing based off of my uh, PS my PlayStation 5 controller I hooked it up to my laptop so that's how I'm playing but that's enough for the intro we are gonna be doing a season mode a franchise mode now I already set this up oh nope that's not it uh, I are I already set this up we're going to be doing the Panthers because that is my favorite team. I, I was debating whether I should do a fantasy draft or not. I was debating if I should do a fantasy draft, but I don't know. I kind of just want to play with the Panthers. You know, in real life, currently 2022, we are in last place. So we stink as of right now. But back then in 2004, we we're actually pretty good. This is actually the year after we lost the Super Bowl. Uh, this, this is the first time I experienced heartbreak. <laughs> so as a fan but yeah I, I just i think for this series i'm just gonna use the panthers the way that the rosters are were in this game back then maybe in a future series i'll do a fantasy draft but for this series i just want to i, I want to play with the panthers these are the guys i grew up watching as a kid delone julius peppers steve smith so i want to i want to play with these guys and uh try to win the super bowl with them because they did not win the super bowl in real life so I think I'm just going to skip through the preseason, though. Uh, simulate preseason. Uh, yeah, we're going to skip to the regular season here. Hopefully, we avoid injuries. Um, this also, you know, gives me time to talk. So, this game, like I said, the presentation is great. They have a great pregame show, great halftime show. And then at the end of each week, they have a sports center where they go through all the highlights and, uh, you know, showcase... They even have some highlights built in for all the games that week, show the stats. I think it's really cool. So I think at the end of each episode, at the end of each week, I'm going to show the uh, show the Sports Center, and that's how each episode is going to end. But we're, we're not bad. Three and one in the preseason. 
That's pretty good. I'm not going to do Sports Center for the preseason. We'll do that at the end of week one. So we're playing the Green Bay Packers. I do remember this was uh, in real life. That's actually the game Steve Smith tore his Achilles. Uh, was out for the year right after coming to the Super Bowl. So we're seven in the power ranking. So let's see. Do we have a? Let's take a look at the front office here. Let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the con or uh, the team needs. Let's take a look at the roster. So we got DeLome as our quarterback. 83 overall. It's not the greatest, but I mean, it's certainly not bad. He only has one year on his deal, though. That's another thing. I don't know how long the series is going to go for. Like, you know, if I'm going to do multiple seasons, we'll see how it goes. But, you know, that is if we are doing multiple seasons, that's something I'm going to have to look out for is the, uh, the contracts. But we have DeLome for this year. Steven Davis, we have a good one with a really good running back. Steven Davis and Deshaun Foster, it's a really good one, too. Hoover's a good fullback. And here's the big ones, our receivers. Steve Smith and Musa Muhammad. Musa Muhammad's a free agent after this year. He actually ended up going to the Bears in real life um, after the season. Steve Smith, though, is on a great contract. Great team-friendly contract. Six years, 1.62, and a 92 overall. Really good. Uh, also my favorite player of all time. We have uh, no good tight end. I thought we... No. Yeah, our tight ends are bad right now. Uh, good center... Guard is a uh, eh. Tackles. We have Jordan Gross locked up. Hopefully he grows. Um, you know, he uh, he's on a good contract. Uh, Casey, not bad. Uh, Sauerbrunn, pretty good punter. Chris Jenkins, the man, 97 overall. He's on a really good contract as well. Uh, Pappers, another, you know, beast. Mike Rucker. Linebackers are okay. Dan Morgan. Really good uh, linebacker. Secondary is not too good. We do have Mike Minner and Barcelona. Yeah, our other safety is not too good. So that secondary seems to be our weakness. But yeah, so let's go over the options. I think we are going to be doing um, six minute quarters. I think that's good. And we're going to be doing legend difficulty. Now, this might be a mistake. Um, you know, I haven't played this in a very long time. It's definitely been over 10 years since I played this. Probably even closer to 15 years. But I always do the hardest difficulty, so we're gonna we're gonna put on Legend of Star. We'll see. Uh, we shall see how badly I do at the start. But hopefully, hopefully we can, you know, figure it out here. So let's take a look. Anything else we should be taking a look at? Injury report. Oh, that's our starting. That's why our tight ends are so bad. So Magnum's out for two weeks broken ribs uh don't need to put him on ir he's only out two weeks uh email inbox all right so nothing really uh nothing really note to watch there um uh, i'm not gonna do the game plan for this episode um i'm gonna have to i'll, I'll do that you know each uh, episode off camera yeah uh, you know, I'll, I'll do that on my own time, figure things out. Uh, so we're just, we're just not going to do a game plan this week. Maybe that's going to be bad for us for this first week, but hopefully we can uh, figure out without it. One last thing. Let's take a look at the power rankings. So they have Cleveland at one. That's interesting. I don't remember Cleveland being that good um, back then. Green Bay, that's who we're playing. Green Bay, yeah, they're going to be good. They got Brett Favre. They got a good team. So... This is going to be a tough one. If I remember correctly as well, uh, this was a Monday night game, I think, back in uh, 2004. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. But anyways, we're going to hop into this one. We're going to play the Green Bay Packers week one. Not going to prepare for the game. Again, eh, let's just see what it is. No, I'm not going to do this. Uh, I'm not going to. I don't know what I'm doing for this. So I will figure that out for the next episode. Uh, but for this one, we are just going to play. We are just going to play the game. So here we go. Week one against the Green Bay Packers. Let's see what we got. Okay, so yes, I know I spelled my name wrong, Valley Joe. I didn't. There wasn't enough characters. They wouldn't let me put the E. I was only able to put the eight 
Um, I was only able to put the eight characters in, so I couldn't put the E in. It's, it's Valley Joe without the E, but we're playing at home. I believe it's Monday Night Football, but we'll see. All, our team's looking pretty good. 92 overall, good defense, good offense. I think we have a good chance of winning the Super Bowl this year. So let's hop in. Episode one, week number one against the Green Bay Packers. Hey, I'm Chris Berman, coming up on ESPN. A year ago, they said Stephen Davis was on the decline. So what does he do? 1,400-plus yards, a trip to the Super Bowl, a trip to Honolulu. It'll be big here. Packers, Panthers, next. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hello, and welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Dan Stevens. At my side, my cohort, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, our game features one of the best wideouts in the game. Unquestionably, Dan. Steve Smith is one of the premier receivers in the NFL. He has great hands, and that reliability makes him a favorite target in this offense. We'll see how he does once the game begins, Peter. But first, let's go to the coin toss. All right, let's see what it is. We got Delome Muhammad out there. Come on, heads. Tails it is. Nope. I do believe this is Monday night though, because you know it's night time out. I I think it follows the same uh, schedule as you know it did back then. Oh wow, that was much fast. That was fast. Sauerbrunn kicks it off to begin the game. Lucci feels the opening kickoff at the 20. Also, apologies if the uh, the graphics aren't the greatest. Back to you, Dan. Susie, thank you. The Packers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at the 37 yard line. Right, can't bring him down. Amon Green. These are some throwback names I haven't heard of in Boy, years. They good yardage out of this one, Dan, and they do it a number of good ways. Good line blocking. Yeah, you see me just diving all around, like falling down. Boot. Nice Second situation. Yeah, great two. play, and now they have a bunch oh, of options on what to try next. Third and inches, okay. They hold pretty firm there, and they've got to do it again on third and short. Third down with the split back. Nope, got the first. They're just running running through us right now. A nice play. 1,800 yards last season. That's a that's an incredible season. And make a tap. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not good. That's good execution. Walker goes in motion. Far rifles it out left. Oh no. And the reception's made at the 37. Yep, we're giving up an early touchdown here. I was playing the run and they they went for the pass. They got me. Brett Favre lays this one in beautifully. Got us yeah, our defense, is, our secondary is definitely going to be a weak spot for us. Our deep, our secondary is definitely going to be our weakness this year. Now the extra point, the extra point is good. and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Longwell booms a beauty here. Yeah, we're not going to take that one out. The Panthers let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's good work out there, All right, man. all right, yeah. Let's try to get the run game working. The Panthers' the offense will start Very this lagging. drive at their own 20-yard line. Oh, Stephen Davis. Stephen, go, 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 baby, go. Huge run to start off the game. That was a big run. I, 
Doesn't didn't quite have the speed, guess, to speed to make so it home, but I mean, now he was off to the races. Tell you what, though, this is a great play. Well, it didn't take him long to get a big run in, and he rips this one off here. Let's try and make. It, let's try a slant here, maybe a Muhammad or Steve Smith. No. The car gets the sack way back at the 31. Chicken McGlory gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know. I didn't like anything. I didn't like it. I, I just took the sack. Let's try a play action post here and either Muhammad or Smith. Oh, Muhammad. Nice. Nice. He's looking for room. Down hard. Look for Smith or Muhammad again. Ah, it was off the, almost. This one is incomplete. All right, we're gonna go over the field goal here. So hopefully, uh, home play don't miss it. That would have given them the first. You gotta make those plays when they come your way. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Okay, we're on the board. Disappointing, we couldn't capitalize off that big. Uh, Big run to start the game, but we'll take the three points. There's the signal, and we're ready. It was a little better of a kick. Sauerbrunn kicks this one away. Davenport fields it all the way back at the 10. Stop at the 30. All right, let's uh, let's try and hold them here. We need to force the punt. We need to stop this run game. They'll start at their own 30-yard line. There it is, Dan Morgan. Green picks up a yard on the play and over caffeinated Oregon. Brenston Buckner, it's a name I haven't heard in a while either. Alright, come on. We need another another big stop here. Nice play, Peppers. Nice play, Peps. Okay, let's uh let's try and make this stop here. Third and six, big third down. Third down, one man back. Okay, okay, we'll take that. Good, to, good deflection, good defense, good stop. All right, let's see if Smitty can get a nice return here. It's uh, definitely returnable. All right, we're going to get back on the running game here. Our running game, I mean, I'm telling you. We got, we got something here with our running game. Stephen Davis finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding All right, we're gonna we're gonna first down, two wideouts on the field. All right, we're gonna we're gonna toss it. We're gonna toss it to the left here. Not not a great run. We're gonna try and catch him off guard here. Try try run a streak maybe. Muhammad, nice play. The streak wasn't open, but Muhammad got open. Jake Delholm threw a nice pass past the coverage and got the completion. Tough throw, but an accurate throw. A beautiful. All right, we're going back. To, we're going back back to the toss. Goes in motion. Uh, I tried to get that block. I probably should have just kept going outside. Picks up a couple. Got to take what you can get, Dan. But they were, you know, hoping for more. Look at the yards after the first hit. We're going back to the toss. Nope, not gonna get it that time. Third and long. All right, let's try to get this play action. Muhammad's having a. Amazing game right now. 
Muhammad's killing it. Covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Beautiful catch, Peter, and that'll do it. Not a bad first quarter. The Packers are out in front, seven to three. Definitely not a bad first quarter. We'll take it. Alright. In the red zone, we need a touchdown here. We're gonna try a run up the middle here. Hoover goes in motion. Davis goes right up the middle and gains about three yards. Oh, we're doing the wave. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. We're going to counter. Ooh, almost. We're almost in there. We're going to try and punch this in here. Ball at the two yard line. Big play coming up. Strong in the Oh, he's almost in. He's at the one. All right, come on. Let's punch this in. Let's punch this in, baby. Right there. He's in. Touchdown. All right, we're up 10 to 7. Not bad, not a bad start. Pretty good drive there. Muhammad's having a great game. Stephen Davis having a great game. Can't get these kickoffs, though, the way I want them. Sauerbrunn kicks it off. Ferguson takes it at the 13. The 32. Robert Ferguson. Last drive. And we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 32 yard line. Okay, we'll take that. Good tackle by Witherspoon. Oh, no way he got that in there. It's complete at the 43. And he stopped right there. Very precise. All right, we need a. I think they're running it here. Oh, uh, they're running it to the other side. All right, we're we're on that. We're on there. Look at me, I'm getting crib credits. I'm coming on a blitz. Oh, look at me. I'm right on him. Right on there. Perfect play call on defense. All right, they're definitely they're, they're they got four wide empty backfield. Good. Oh, Ah, we could have had that pick. But it's alright, we got the stop. Good, good stand, good stand, good stand. Nah, that's a really good punt. I think I'm going to let it go in the end zone. No, I think we can return this. We'll get past the 20, hopefully. And got back to the 20. All right, let's see if we can uh, have a nice drive here in the half. All right, we're going to try a throw here. Ah, he's going for Muhammad again. All right, we're gonna, we're looking back for Muhammad. They're playing off of him. Oh, what a what a dot! What a dime to Muhammad! 
in what a catch in traffic. I thought he was gonna jump the route and pick it. Oh, I thought Sharper was gonna pick that one. I think we're gonna start off with a run here. We're not in a rush. We still have all our timeouts. Look at Stephen Davis having himself a day right now. All right, let's see if we can get Steve Smith involved here. That was dangerous. That was a dangerous throw. We're gonna get. We're gonna go tricky. We're gonna go the fake reverse. Nope, nothing there. We're gonna have to punt. It's off. Incomplete. Number boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Tower run lines up for the yeah, punt. It's a decent punt. Gets the snap. It's in the 20. Aims this one out of bounds. They start at their own 20 yard line. Barb oh no. This pass, and the reception's made at the 30. <laughs> That's not good. Shoved out at the 42. That will bring up first down. William Henderson gets gigantic yards on this play, and the catch is just the opening act. Nice move. And yeah, he just he, he just shoved nice Mike Minter off like it was nothing. Ferguson holds in the pass. All right, as long as we don't give a touchdown, we need to hold him to at least a field goal. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great. They're in heavy. They might be trying to run it here. They are. They're going to get it. They're going to get it a lot more. Oh, no. That's bad. That's really bad. Not not good at all. He broke through the arm tackles. Couldn't bring him down. Yeah, we were holding him pretty well, honestly, up until that run. We were hold we were shutting him down. That let him we let him loose there though. Here's the extra point and it's good. Three plays or eighty yards, three plays in eighteen seconds. That's rough. Longwell rockets this one deep. Smart. Fair catch is on 20 yard line. Oh no. Oh boy. Al Harris delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there. And he gives up the football for the fumble. That's getting complete, right? It's got to be incomplete. There are many ways you can start to draw. Yeah, let's. let's I think it's incomplete. I think it's incomplete. Whether the player had possession prior to the fumble. All right. What have you got? Okay. All right. Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. Well, it doesn't look like he had possession, After Dan. Review, I call it an incompletion and pass. overturn it. Receiver did not have possession of the ball prior to the fumble. Okay, that's big. Thank you. Good call, refs. And you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Steve Muhammad can get open on this. He's been our best player. Ball at the Panthers, 20-yard line. McKenzie no, makes a play on this one can't get it to Smith right now. All right, we're going. We're looking for Muhammad again. Muhammad's Muhammad's the only one getting it done right now. Muhammad's the only one getting it done right now. Oh, 
Oh no, that's uh, I try to get it over him. Try to get it over his head. Darren Sharper does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and Eckers. We need to stop now. On the interception. They'll start this drive at the 40-yard line. Favre throws a bullet to the flat and the reception. Packers take their first time up. What was that? Didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Ineligible receiver, number 68. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take the penalty. Try and get him out of field goal range. All right, come on. We need to hold him. No. Packers will take a timeout. That's their second. Wow, look at last year's stats. Talk about a great season. Ah, I wanted that interception. Turnover, interception, something. Is I off sides? Ah. Come on. Defense. Five yard penalty. Repeat seconds down. One, one, one stop here. Hold him to three. We get the ball to start the second half. Ah, we keep dropping these interceptions. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Okay, we're only down seven. We can uh, we can get this in the second half. Snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Need some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Longwell booms a beauty here. Smart decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 16 block. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna call a run play here. Davis takes the handoff and heads out right. Tackled at the 21. All right, we need to get the second half uh, rally going. Out in front, 17 to 10. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Panthers should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Donald Duke and the driver emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 52-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers strike first and go up by seven. The Panthers still early in the first. Steven Davis is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground. He makes the most of this one. That set up a 33-yard field goal. The Panthers later on in the second quarter. Panthers back by four. Steven Davis got the carry here, and he comes through. They take the lead for the first time and are now up by three. The Panthers have it again. Jake DeLome would find his target on this one. Panthers up 10 to seven. Amon Green gets the handoff as they keep it on the ground here. He's got room up the middle. A 33-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers grab the lead again and go up by four. The Panthers late in the second quarter. Darren Sharper was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. 
The Packers late into the second quarter. Packers out in front by four. Brett Favre would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Panthers are down, but still in it. 17 to 10. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Steven Davis has taken over this game. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Is a tight All right, let's get it. Thank Currently, you. they're down. We, we still have time. Let's get down to the field and the action. Oh, we're not taking that. Smart. Let's go back to the run game. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the few big plays. They really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see yeah, we just got to get this run game working. At the own 20 yard line. The numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. Yard line. Davis will get the carry on second down and choose up about four on the play. We're just, we're just going to keep pounding the rock. We're just gonna keep Look pounding the rock. Tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Davis brings up four yards, and that will bring up first down. Stephen Davis played smart, and you should have no trouble in getting the first. Davis carries it for the fourth straight time, and gains about three. All right, we set it. We're setting up the play action here. To Muhammad again. Ball at the Panthers' 37-yard line. No just dice. not in just don't I just don't have the connection with Steve Smith right now. All right, we got to we got to get this first here. Ball at the Panthers 37 yard line. Hey, nice play. No one was on Muhammad. Muhammad must be wondering if he's in the twilight zone, Dan. There was absolutely no Yeah, there was literally no one on him. I mean, all the way. Peter, yet another grab here in the third, and he's been working hard the whole game. It's all about consistency, and he's been Yeah, not a good run there. Davis loses two, and Peter, once he closes... All right, we're going back to the same play. You are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls. Or Another incompletion. All right, let's see if we can get Muhammad uh, over the middle. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Oh, Prol. Ricky Prol, nice. Finally a completion to not Muhammad. Despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders, there's the catch and the big play. All right, we're going back to the the ground game. I love it. That's what football is all about: making the big plays when you need to. You can't coach them. Davis gets the call on first down and All right, we're going back, looking back to Muhammad here. Ball at the 28-yard line. Ah, they just got a hand on it. All right, we're trying the cor we'll try the now we're gonna try the corner here. We'll try a post route. Hey, we're all right. First and goal. Ricky Prohl stepping up this half. time on this play and it works makes it a little more exciting to watch too oh if he wasn't accurate that was a perfect throw interception all right we're going back to the run davis picks up about two all right now we're going to toss it the other side we're going to stick with his run Oh, that was bad. Up losing about three. 
All right, we'll just try a slant. So hopefully someone gets open. Ah, uh, did not have enough time. Brady Jackson gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protections. Well, yeah, we're going to have to take our three. A little disappointing, but pretty good drive. that's forced two losses in a row. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Casey from 30 yards out, and it's good. 16 plays, five minute drive, and we only get a field goal out of it. Tough. Easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. They, they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. We're gonna need it. We, we need a touchdown though. Well, first we need a stop. We need to get a stop here. Cannot afford to give up a touchdown this drive. Fields the kickoff at the 12. Brought down at the 41. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive results, and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful. And they will stop. We need to stop here in this drive big one. time. Walker goes in motion. I can't believe he got through there, man. I'm on green has hands to make the catch, but he's also At first, like leg. Fields was right there, then the missed tackle by Minter. Morgan missed tackle, throws him off. Ah, uh, he's gonna fight for ten yards again. Oh, that's a big that's big. All right, third down. We need to stop here. We need to stop. No. Ah, no. We need, to, we need to stop here. They're like at the fringe of field goal range. Driver goes in motion. No. Man, Amon Green is eating us up this drive. They're just probably gonna run the clock down, kick a field goal. Or try to get a touchdown. They got a touchdown. We're shot. Oh, oh, interception. Huge. Oh, that's big. Oh, my God, that's huge. That was perfect positioning back there to get the interception. Heck of a defensive play. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D Lock. Alright, we're going back to the play action here. Capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 16 yard line. The loan makes no nah. play action fake and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Alright, let's see if we can get Muhammad on this route. Over the middle or Smith. Smith hasn't really worked out too well though. No one was open. No, I was trying to just throw it away there. We gotta go, we gotta go quick. Ah, fourth and six. Before the marker, it's worth another look. Yep, he let some yards get by. We got to punt it. We have to punt it. Sauerbrunn lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. It's all right. One more. One defensive stand. We're right back in it. That sack really just took us out of that drive. Pummels this one deep. McKenzie gets it at the 34. Well, I don't know. I don't trust us picking up that first right there. 
And it's not, we don't need to yet. We need to stop, we need another defensive stand here. We'll start at the 45 yard line. Driver goes in motion. All right. Not bad. They're probably just trying to run out the clock. Oh no, they're throwing it. Oh, you have to intercept that, man. You have to pick that off. That is right at you. All right, we're going dime look. We have an empty backfield. We need this stop here. Ooh, okay, okay. It's a big stand. It's a big three and out. They are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation. All right, there's some room to return this one. Gets the ball and punts it away. Smith fields the punt and the 14. Alright, we're going to go back to the ground game here. This is probably going to be our last drive of the game. We need to find the end zone. Just no, we just need to, we just need to get a good drive going here. Let's try and move Smith in the slot. Maybe this will help him get open. Yeah, it's a drop. No, Smith. This is this might be dumb, but we're going for it. We're going for it. We give him a field goal. It's not the end of the world. Not a good play. Not a good play. Makes a great effort on this play, getting his hand up there and tipping the ball incomplete. Let's take another look. Oh, that's how you play D. That's okay. We can still hold on. If we give up a field goal, we slow a chance. That's why I went for it there. That's a bad call. Driver goes in motion. Okay, we need to we just we need to keep hold them here. No first downs, no touchdowns. Gotta take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know hoping for more. Yeah, they're just gonna run they're just gonna bleed this clock out. Oh they they hiked it. Oh that's on them, he ran out of bounds. Ineligible receiver, number eighty four. I'm going to decline it. I'm going to give him the third. All right, timeout. We'll give up the field goal. We'll have another drive to tie it at the end here. Some gain there, but not enough for the first. They allow a little there, but they do force a fourth down. Way to attack the ball. Just the makes it inside good. the left upright. Wanted to though. All right, we need one. We need a drive here. We need to go on a drive. This is our last shot of uh, having a chance in this game. Fair catches it at the one. What happens as they start this drive? Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. Play action, looking to Smitty or Muhammad here. No, no. He came out of nowhere, bro. Touchdown at the 44. Aaron Sharper goes why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. The Packers. That might have just done a sin right there. Field position at the 44 yard line. Green gains 10. All right, I'm going goal line. I'm going all in to stop the run here. Green gets the 
call again. And it's wide right. That's gonna that's gonna be it. We 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 went all in for the run up the middle, and uh, they ran it. They bounced it outside. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, they're in field goal range now too. Unless we get a fumble, it's over. Uh, yeah, unless they miss the field goal, we're we're toast. We're cooked. Even then, still we have to like get a hail mary or something. Well, we have no timeouts. Um, oh, he missed. He missed. We stole the chance. Oh, wow. He pushed it. It's just a little bit to the side wall. Colbert. Colbert. Makes the pass and yeah, not too far. Nice pressure that time. Another drop. Uh, fourth down. All right, last chance to get something here. First down or anything. All right, first down. Finally, a completion to Smith. To Smith. Okay. We have to go to the end zone here. We're throwing it deep to Pearl no matter what. Oh, Pearl, no. No, he actually could have came down with that. He actually could have came down with that. And that will do it for tonight's game. Packers come out on top 20 to 13. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Oh, that's a tough loss. It's only the first game, though. Again, I, I said I was gonna, I was going to, you know... I was going to struggle in this one. I had to figure out what works, what doesn't work. But hopefully uh, it gives us a learning experience. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Jake DeLome connected with his man on this one. That set up a 30-yard field goal. The Panthers climb back again and are now down by four. The Packers in control at the 31-yard line. Artrell Hawkins is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Packers have to a stop on fourth down. Packers up by four. Ryan Longwell is summoned for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good spot, good kick. Three goods equals three points. The Panthers on defense. Darren Sharper would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Panthers losing 20 to 13. Jake DeLome would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers edge out a win, 20 to 13. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Amon Green was kind enough to give us a moment of his time, and he's on the field with Susie Calvert. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You helped carry your team today. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What put you guys over the top? Man, I got a hand to those animals out there on defense tonight. They were all over the place, hustling, making hits. Man, they put them back on their heels. They made it a lot easier for us on offense to get the W. Back to you, Chris. 
Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long. Ah, uh, that was a tough one. That reminded me of the Devin Funches drop in the lights, like the Saints of 2017. But anyway, so we'll save. Uh, we'll save an exit. Man, that was a tough loss. Thought, I thought Pearl had it there at the end. I really did. So we're starting the year 0-1-1. It is what it is. You know, I said, like I, like I said, it was going to take some time to figure things out. Uh, it's only week one. I, as you know, for those that watch my other series, other sports series, you know, I do bad in week one. That is what it is. I, I probably should have kept running the ball more because it's so effective. I just, I, I I know what the problem was. I got stubborn and I really wanted to get Steve Smith involved. That, and that was the problem. I, I was I was too stubborn, too prideful. I wanted to get Steve Smith involved. I was trying to force it to him when he wasn't open. Muhammad was getting open. Muhammad was killing it all game. And then I started forcing to Smith. And I was getting frustrated that it wasn't working. Um, I didn't get it. I didn't even get any completions until that last drive there. But I like I said, the Packers are a good team. They were uh, number two in the power ranking, so it's not the end of the world. Hopefully, we'll, you know, we'll bounce back. We'll all learn from these mistakes. And hopefully, you know, next week against the Chiefs, we'll pl- have a better game plan. Maybe I might actually do the game plan this time. Who knows? But, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Actually, no, uh, I'm going to end it with watching this week's Sports Center. But this is going to be for me anyways. Um, but, yeah, enjoy this uh, week's episode of Sports Center, and hopefully next week, We'll get it. We'll we'll get back in the win column. So till then, catch you in the next one. This is Sports Center. Hi there. I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Packers come away with a seven-point win. Mike Peterson stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Teddy Bruschi sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. A hairline fracture of the arm is the initial report, and the doctors are saying he'll be out for eight weeks. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. John Ritchie might be the biggest loss on this list. A hairline fracture of the arm is the initial report. And the doctors are saying he'll be out for 10 weeks. Now, on to even bigger news, as you may have already heard. Sam Adams is done for the year as he'll watch the rest of the season from the sidelines. And they'll be scrambling now to find someone that can fill his shoes. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. Shannon Sharp nabbed two touchdown passes and helped his Broncos beat the Chiefs. Over in Cleveland, home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, we had the Browns get sent away with a seven-point loss. Up in the HHH Metrodome, we had the Vikings lose by a narrow five-point margin. Colts, Patriots. Starvin Marvin Harrison is at the 19-yard line, but they'll definitely keep an eye on him, will that defense? One man chucks him. Oh, he just pulls past him. Beautiful touchdown. The Colts win this one by the final score of 28-21. to The Buccaneers racked up over 150 rushing yards in their win at Raljan, Maryland. The Lions won on the road and will now head home to meet the Texans. Sebastian Janikowski stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Rudy Johnson rushed for over 50 yards and helped his Bengals beat the Jets. Deep in Cajun country in New Orleans, we had the Saints get nipped by three points. Chargers, Texans. Dominic Davis is in the backfield. The ball is at the 40-yard line, and the lead man through throws a block, shakes off one tackle, Bounces outside, it's now it's a foot race. The 10, the 5, touchdown! The Texans go on to win this by the final score of 17 to 10. Down at Pro Player Stadium, we had the Dolphins fall by 10 points.
The Falcons got 300 plus yards from their offense in their victory at 3Com Park. The Eagles won at home and will stay home for next week's game when they meet the Vikings. We had a big trade also of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? We'll shift gears now just a little and have a look at a few trades that should certainly be of interest. Michael Strahan leaves the Giants and heads to the Patriots. And they obviously see that as one of the areas that needs improvement. In exchange, they'll get someone to beef up their roster. Ty Law is someone that'll be a good fit for this secondary as his aggressive instincts make him a natural out there. And in our final game, we had the Rams come away victorious. So, as usual, plenty of surprises around the NFL. And, heck, I mean, we just got into week one. My primetime players' game balls go out to these gentlemen, each one with a fine start to the season. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studio. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.